So here we see a typical Amazon home screen, tons of adverts, so many sponsored applications, sponsored content, slow interface. But watch what happens when I press a button on my remote control. One click, and we are now instantly taken into a fully customized home screen where we can create sections, we can move applications around, we can hide apps, we can automatically change the background wallpaper, and of course with no adverts, no sponsored content, and we really can tweak this screen exactly how we like it. Now, I covered this launcher a few videos ago, and lots of you are asking for the specific instructions on how we can get this running on our Amazon devices. Now, I will say this at the start because some of you are complaining that I waited till the end, which wasn't my intention. You have to appreciate that on the Amazon devices, we can no longer use the home button to start a custom launcher. But what we can do is use another button to start any application that we like. And this example, we can use that button to start a custom launcher. So in this video today, let me show you the exact steps you need to follow on your Amazon device. And with this process, whenever you press this single button, you'll be taken straight into this super fast, super slick, and just really fluid, nice looking launcher. So please do take a moment to hit that like button. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. So with all of that being said, Let's get started. If you're new to the channel and you want to stay up to date with the latest tech tutorials, the latest Fire Stick, Android and Android TV tips and tricks, then please do subscribe and hit the notification bell. It's a small click from you, but it makes a big difference to me. Thank you. Now this process was first documented by AFTV News and I did cover this in a previous video, but essentially on these media remote controls, you can remap two of these media buttons so they launch any application that you like. Now we can use either the Disney Plus or you can use the Netflix button. Now the key thing to understand here is you can't actually have these applications installed on your device because if they are installed, then pressing this button will just open the application. So we need to uninstall the application first for that button, then install the remapping software and finally just choose which application you want to start. Now I've got everything running on my device already, but let me quickly show you on your device. If you go over to Downloader, and make a quick connection to my website, which is just techdoctoruk.com, or you can type in the short code 53402. Let's type that in and click on go. Now, when you get to my site, if you just head over to the hamburger menu, click on that. Let's click on tutorials. And at the top, you'll see the Project Ivy tutorial that I created a few days ago. I've now added some more instructions into that, specifically on how you can actually remap the buttons of your Fire Stick remote control. So, Let's scroll down and we can now see under the software, we have the launcher and we also have remote ADB shell. And the reason for that is we have to use remote ADB shell to enter in one command to allow us to remap this button. Now you can also read the step-by-step -step instructions on the AFTV News website by clicking on this link here, or you can just watch my previous video. So essentially the process is step one, you choose which button you want to remap. In my case, it was Disney Plus. Step two, once you've confirmed that, you then go ahead and uninstall that application from your device. So Disney Plus is removed from my 4K Fire Stick Max. Once that's done, you then download the remapper for that particular button. So as my button was Disney Plus, I just enter in code 2214 into Downloader and that will then download the special remapper application. Now the key thing here is once you download it, do not install the application. We have to run a special command which allows us to install the application with special privileges. So if you scroll down, now all of these commands are mentioned on the AFTV News' website, but just in this demonstration, I did put the commands for the Netflix app. And in my case, because I did Disney Plus, I've got the commands here. You enter these two commands into Roma ADB show and that then installs the application. Once that's done, you're now ready to remap that button. So on my device, let's press the home button. We can see on my device, when I now press Disney Plus for the first time, let's click on that. It will take a few seconds for the first time, and it's now asking you, which application do you want to now use for this particular button? So I can now see all of my installed applications. So I can choose any application that I want, any custom launcher that I want. And in my case, because we're using Project Ivy, we can see it's here. 
Let's now click on select. And we just get the confirmation one more time that if you ever want to change what the remapper does, just follow the process there, clear the data, and then you can then remap it to another application. I can now click on exit. Let's now press the home button. That's pretty much it guys. So now anytime I want to use my custom launcher, instead of pressing the home button, I just press Disney plus once. And that instantly takes me into my custom launcher. And as I mentioned before, most of these applications, once you do open them, like for example, aerial views, I can use the application. And when I'm finished, I don't want to press the home button because the home button always takes you back to the stock launcher. In most cases, you can just press the back button a few times and you'll stay inside your custom launcher. But if the application doesn't allow you to exit by pressing back a few times, you can always press your remapped key, in my case, Disney Plus, and that will then take you out of the application. For example, if I'm inside this application here and pressing back doesn't do anything, I can now just press my Disney Plus button one click and we'll go straight back into the custom launcher. So yes, it's not a completely perfect solution because we're not using the home button, but I still think for the people that really don't like adverts on their home screen, they don't want to see that sponsored content. They want to customize what they see. They want to use custom wallpapers, custom sections. I do think this is a great solution, especially with this custom launcher, as I demonstrated, it's super easy to use. If I go into the launcher settings here, if I want to change the wallpaper, I can go to launcher. I can go to the launcher wallpaper. And for example, I can just say I'm looking for uh, something in the wallpapers category. And very quickly now my device is using another wallpaper. And if I want to create a new section, go back to the top, click on settings, edit categories, click on new categories. Let's give that a name. Let's just call this one uh, tools. Now, once you create a new category, somebody actually left me this comment saying that they've created it, but they can't see it anywhere. Now, the reason for that is the way this launcher works is anytime you create a new category, it only shows the category once you actually move something into it. So if I now say, for example, my Wi-Fi speed test, if I long press the select button, I now get this menu here. If I scroll down, and we can now see add to tools. So I can click on that. And now we can see at the top that then shows the category. Similarly, if I want to add uh, this uh, TD UK speed toolbox, long press select, scroll down, add to tools. Let's also add in Def Squid, just to show you how super easy it is. You can create sections, you can move things around, you can hide complete rows, you can reorder things. So let's press left here, left again, Let's say I want to move the tools further down. Let's move it here. That's now done. We've now brought that down. The Amazon apps are near the top. We have the other ones here. And this one also allows you to change inputs. So very quickly, we can see down here, we can have separate inputs for your cable boxes or your Xboxes. You can now with one click, get your Fire Stick or Fire TV to actually change inputs on your TV. So really nice features. I can't demonstrate that because I'm using this on a capture card, but lots of great features, very easy to use, fully customizable. And with that great feature of automatically pulling wallpapers from Reddit, I think it's definitely worthwhile checking out. I mean, it does say that you can actually pick an image, but I can't actually see a way for us to select that. But I think with the amount of wallpapers you have in those different categories, I don't think you'll ever get bored especially looking at nice wallpapers like that. And the last thing I recommend is getting into your settings because as we know on the Amazon devices, we can't use accessibility services. So if you click on that, you can basically turn off this warning so it won't nag you anymore. So untick that like this, go back and you can now go ahead and fully enjoy your custom launcher. So that's pretty much for this video, guys. Many thanks for watching. Do leave me a comment below. Let me know what you think about this new launcher running on your Amazon devices and I'll hopefully catch up with you guys real soon. Thanks.